Now, the recent spot witnessed between President William Ruto and Chief Justice Martha Kome over allegations of corruption in the corridors of justice may have not come as a surprise since the two arms of government have been engaged in frosty relations, especially after the promulgation of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. While the judiciary has strived to keep the government from crossing the line, the executive has always complained of judiciary corruption and overreaching. KTN's Emmanuel Tor interrogates. They want to control the judiciary. They want to make the judiciary a puppet. Perhaps the peak of the war between the executive and the judiciary in the history of the country post the promulgation of the 2010 constitution. The Chief Justice David Maraga then engaging in an all-out war with retired President Uhuru Kenyatta, whom he accused of a knack of disobeying court orders. Some CSS and the PSS are bragging that uh, the, the CJ will or should be removed before the end of this year. To revisit him and the women. The award dragged through the end of their respective tenures that ended in 2022. I have decided that unless I'm treated with the, the dignity due to my office, I will choose which of those state functions I will attend. Fast forward to 2024, and it seems it is the same script, different cast. These threats and declarations are extremely serious and a monumental assault to the Constitution. It is also an assault to the rule of law. To the executive, uh, the biggest threat um, has always been known to be uh, the judiciary and that's why um, uh, different administrations um, and, and if it is possible uh, they have always tried uh, to uh, rein in and take control of the of the operations of of the judiciary let the president leave the judiciary alone let him not be seen as being actively interfering in the affairs of the judiciary at all. And although the differences between the first CJ after the 2010 constitution, Dr. William Mutunga did not play out in the open with Presidents Mwai Kibaki and Uhuru Kenyatta, pandits argue he drew the line in the sand on the separation of powers. The, the, the officers, including the leadership, the judges and other judicial officials, have taken advantage of these facilities that Kenyans availed uh, since 2010 uh, to be more brave, to be more courageous, to be more uh, professional uh, and to stand uh, and look at the executive and other uh, institutions that have crossed uh, the wrong path with the constitution in the face. Members of the executives do not talk against the judges. Judges are respected individuals. In fact, they used to be a saying that judges are officers who have been sent by God to govern. And although the current CJ Martha Kome seems to have adopted a more diplomatic approach to addressing challenges within the judiciary, more collisions between the two arms are expected in coming days as she could end up being the longest serving CJ yet post the 2010 constitution. Emmanuel Toh, KT News, Nairobi.